Hello everyone. Hi. Okay, so today is our first lesson. Okay, so today we are going to use a uh, form for textbook. So your textbook's name is Full Blast. Okay, so this is unit one. Okay, let's chat. Okay, unit one ni there are a few pages but today we are just going to uh, look at page 8 page 9 and page 10 okay let me explain how to do page 8 okay so let's read a discuss what do you know about social networking sites are you a member of a social networking site what do you use it for okay social networking site me for example is facebook okay uh, facebook um what else instagram twitter what um so that uh, those are the examples okay so on page 8 there are four children not children there are four teenagers so um, this is their opinions on social networking sites Alicia Adrian Ryan and Emma okay so you have to read all their opinion okay and then let's look at page 9 okay c exercise c ni look at the highlighted words in the text and choose the correct meaning a or b okay so for example number 1 draw back so apa maksud dia is it disadvantage or advantage Okay, so drawback ni, you can find in page 8. See ni, dekat Alicia. Tu, drawback. Dia kasi highlight sudah warna kuning. Okay, so you have to find it and then you have to teka lah. Apa maksud drawback? Adakah disadvantage atau advantage? Okay, sama juga for number 2. Nasty. Nasty, Adrian yang cakap tu. There's also cyberbullying which can be very nasty. Okay, so apa maksud nasty? Adakah boring atau unpleasant? Uh, so, pilih mana satu. Okay? Okay, let's look. Okay, kita sambung lagi. Okay, let's look at section D pula. Okay, section D ni, read the text A to D again uh, A to D ni sinilah tu Alicia Adrian, Ryan dengan Emma tu ok so read the text A to D again and answer the questions below write A, B, C or D ok A, B, C or D tu maksudnya A tu C, Alicia B tu Adrian C tu Ryan Emma D Macam tu Okay Okay for example Number one Who mentions Maksudnya Siapa yang cakap Okay so number one That he or she Has been using Social networking sites A bit too much Okay so siapa Adakah Alicia Adrian Ryan Atau Emma So Tulis di bulat ni a, B, C atau D So kalau kamu jawab A Maksudnya um, Alicia mentioned that He uh, That she has been using Social networking sites A bit too much uh, So jawapan dia sebenarnya Kamu kena cari di sini Okay Okay Let's look at grammar pula Okay Grammar ni For today Dia akan tunjuk dengan korang Apa itu present simple Apa itu present continuous Okay 
present simple ni sebenarnya uh, present tense. Okay, cuba tengok yang ni. Tanya enjoys using social networking sites and uses them every day. Okay, so enjoys tu present simple. Uses pun present simple. So, maksudnya present simple ni adalah kata kerja lepas tu dia tambah S. Kenapa tambah S? Sebab untuk seorang. Si Tanya ni adalah seorang. So, Tanya enjoys using social networking sites and uses them every day. Okay. Tapi, kalau si Tanya ni ada dua orang. For example, Tanya and Ali enjoy. Okay. So, kalau satu orang kata kerja ada S. Tapi kalau ramai, kata kerja tiada S. Okay? Kalau present continuous pula, present continuous, dia ada ING. Okay, for example, yang uh, ni, bawah tanya ni. She's playing an online game at the moment. She's playing. Okay, so... Present continuous mesti ada perkataan is atau are. Lepas tu kata kerja mesti ada ing. Okay. Sama juga macam bawah ni. I don't understand why Emma is always chatting on the net with Linda. They see. Ha, see ni. See ni adalah pre, uh, present, sample, uh, present simple. Okay. They see each other five times a week. Tomorrow, they are spending the whole day together. Okay, so they are spending tu, itu adalah present continuous. Nampak tak? They tu ramai, so kena guna A, A-R-E, spending. Spend tu kena tambah I-N-G. Ha, itu present continuous. Okay, kalau ramai, A. A R E spending they are spending tapi kalau satu orang dia jadi Nina Emma is always chatting okay okay let's look at the question number one why are you in such a hurry what time ha, apa jawapan dia what time the train to Brighton leave So, kalau kamu perasan, what soalan what time ni, dia sama konsep macam Nina. Emma is always chatting. For example, jawapan dia, what, i, what time is the train to Brighton leaving? Ada is, ada leaving. Kenapa is? Sebab train tu satu. Okay. Kalau tengok yang B ni pula, number 1B, at 9pm, but I to be at the train station at 6 o'clock because I meet my friend Sally. So, 1 tu kamu kena tukar lah. Dia jadi I want kah? I want kah? Ataupun I... Is wanting kah? Ha, I am wanting kah? Apa jawapan dia? Adakah dia present simple atau dia present continuous? Okay. Ha, so, kamu kena fikir tu. Kamu kena tengok. Mana satu yang sesuai? Sesuai guna present simple kah? Sesuai guna present continuous? Okay. Okay. Jawab dalam buku latihan. Tulis nombor soalan, tulis jawapan saja. Nanti teacher bagi jawapan, okey? Okey, sekarang ni kita tengok page 10 pula. Okey, 1A, vocabulary. Okey, A, match the verbs with the nouns to make phrases. Maksudnya, dia mau kamu kasih padan number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ni dengan A, B, C, D, E, F. For example, uh, number 1, turn on atau shut down. Kamu mau kasih match dengan apa? 
a battery ke ataupun kamu mau kasi match dengan the on off ke ataupun C ke software ha, ok so mari kita tengok turn on apa jawapan turn on the computer shut down the a uh, laptop ha, so jawapan dia satu E macam tu so nanti dalam buku latihan kamu kamu tulis dia satu number one the answer is E macam tu ok ok itu A let's look at B pula ok B ni dia bilang read the sentences and complete with the verbs in the box ok so dalam kotak purple ni adalah verbs Verbs tu apa? Verbs tu adalah kata kerja. Okay. Scroll. Deleted. Crashed. Paste. Saved. Print. Click. Okay. So, number one. Apa jawapan untuk number one? Okay. If you want to move that paragraph further down, first, you must select it. Then, cut it and... Ha, apa jawapan dia? Cut it and apa? Ha. Cut it and paste it at the end of your document. Okay, so number one, the answer is paste. Okay, okay sama juga for number two sampai number five. Okay, let's look at C. Okay. Read the sentences below and match the phrases in bold with the definitions A to G. Okay, so number 1 sampai number 7 ni adalah sentences. Yang di bawah ni, A dengan B sampai G ni adalah phrases yang kamu kena, um, maksudnya jawapan untuk nombor 1 sampai nombor 7 tu. Okay, for example, number one. Hello, is James there? He rang me earlier but I was busy so I'm calling him back. Okay, so calling him back ni, apa maksud dia di sini? Mana satu? Stop communicating ka? Send a short letter ka? Speak to someone ka? Phone someone ka? Ataupun E ka, F ka, G. Ha, so, number one, apa kamu rasa jawapan dia? Calling him back tu maksud dia apa? Ha. Maksudnya, kalau number one, the answer is D. Calling him back. Call dia semula. So, bila call dia semula, maksudnya phone someone because he, she phoned you. Maksudnya, Call seseorang kerana dia telah call kamu. Ha, itu maksud dia. Okay. So, nanti dalam buku latihan, kamu tulis saja. Number one, the answer is D. Macam tu. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson. Bye.